Hi, I'm Trent Carter, and this is the lab, as we call it. And this is the fusion reactor. It's right over here. I'm going to put on a pair of gloves here, remove the, uh, the lead shield from it. We use lead when we go over 20,000 volts. It starts to generate some x-rays. We monitor those x-rays from above and below the reactor with um, tiger counters. So we, we keep one in front of us here to make sure we're not getting irradiated. And we keep one above to monitor the x-rays coming up. Let's come on over here and take a look at the reactor. We'll just film inside the reactor real quick. And behind the reactor, to the left is a GS neutron, to the right is our helium-3 tube. And below it's the pump. And right over here is the turbo pump. This is our valve to change the conductance of the system. Here's two pressure gauges which feed into here. And this is our control system. This is called Mr. Fusion. And it's a giant readout up here. And this is where we can control the system, such as turn the pumps on, etc. All automated. Uh, here's a paddle switch for safety. Turn the system back on, voltage adjust, all that could be done uh, automatically. This counter here counts neutrons. This is a discriminating scope over here. We have 11 uh, on the helium-3, and it counts. And um, right here is our lector of deuterium gas. Um, this sets the main pressure differential. This, this uh, gates the gas into this section of the system. This lets the gas into the reactor. So we have a, a fairly decent valve here and then a needle valve here. So we can, we actually have three different pressure gradients which help us uh, fine tune the gas getting into the system. And back here, this valve, so if we close this one and open this one, this valve is for hydrogen. So we have a hydrogen generator down here. And so if we want protons, we can put the hydrogen through our ion gun and strip the electron off of it, and we've got a proton source. Our ion gun looks like this. So this is a, a, a spare one or a second one. And do you remember who makes this? Well, I'll put it in the description. It's one of the Fuser Forum uh, contributors, a uh, smart guy. So that's, that's pretty much uh, the setup for uh, the Fusion Reactor 3, which we call it here, which we're using to test 1D, 2D, and 3D cathodes and we will be testing, uh, doing more proton boron 11 experiments in the future.